Rapid urbanization is forcing humanity to look for new ways to develop the urban environment. The solution in the face of global overpopulation is offered by the concept of a smart city. The term smart cities is used by specialists to denote various processes, but it implies three essential aspects. The presence of numerous sensors for receiving and processing information, advanced data collection systems, and specialized software for analytics. It also requires residents who are interested in applying smart green solutions and are capable of using them. There are already more than a thousand cities in the world that are gradually becoming smart. They exist in Europe, Japan, China, and North America. South Korea stands out in this regard, while in other countries, smart technologies are integrated into existing megacities, here they can boast the creation of such a city from scratch. This is Smart Songdo, located 30 kilometers from Seoul, recognized as the most ambitious project of modernity. How the smartest city in the world was built and what challenges it faces today, you can find out in this issue. The initiator of the Songdo project was the Daewoo Company, which was supported by the South Korean government in this endeavor. Songdo, the full name of which is Songdo International Business District, is situated on a specially reclaimed island adjacent to Gimpo, the third most populous city in South Korea, with the country's largest airport and second largest port. Located just an hour's drive from Seoul, the smart city was designed to contrast the overcrowded capital, where residents suffer from endless traffic jams, pollution, and a lack of urban space. Construction began in 2005 on 600 hectares of land reclaimed from the Yellow Sea. By 2009, the first facilities were completed, including the Songdo Convention Exhibition Center inspired by the Sydney Opera House and a 12-kilometer bridge directly connecting Incheon Airport to the island. Initially, the construction was planned to be completed by 2016, but it was eventually postponed to 2025. It is expected that Songdo will have a permanent population of 252,000 residents, with the creation of 400,000 jobs, so another two to 300,000 people will commute from the mainland to work daily. The city's design and adjacent areas exclude further expansion of its borders. The organization of urban space follows strict rules. Green zones, pedestrian and bicycle paths, metro lines, bus routes, and integrated charging stations for hybrid and electric vehicles create a combination of diverse transportation options. Urban blocks are separated from high-speed roads by wide boulevard zones. In the future Songdo city, there should be 80,000 apartments, 5 million square meters of office space, and 900,000 square meters of retail space. But of course, the main asset of Songdo is its smart infrastructure. The network equipment developer Cisco has placed various sensors throughout the city, connecting global tracking networks literally every centimeter. Data from these sensors are sent to the central control hub, where information about the condition of buildings and roads is analyzed. The city's energy supply is regulated every second based on monitoring of energy consumption. Only LED lighting technologies are used. The system is so sensitive that the power of streetlights, for example, is adjusted based on the number of people in the illuminated area. Gas and solar power stations are maximally used, and hot water undergoes a second cycle of use, heating indoor spaces. For technical needs, rainwater and purified wastewater are used, along with treated water from sinks and washing machines. Needless to say, compared to ordinary cities, Songdo saves 30% of resources. Gradually, all buildings are being connected to the global information network, allowing remote management of household tasks. There is no waste outside homes, no containers, garbage trucks, or landfills. The city is equipped with an underground pneumatic waste disposal system, which collects all the garbage directly from the premises and sends it straight to the sorting facility. In the near future, waste will become raw material for methane fuel production. The most popular means of transportation is bicycles. In a city where everything is within a 15-minute reach, cars are essentially unnecessary. There are 25 kilometers of bike lanes, buses, and a metro connecting the island to Incheon. If a resident still chooses a car, countless charging stations for hybrid electric vehicles and free parking will encourage the use of low-emission vehicles. It's worth mentioning that 95% of Songdo's parking facilities are underground. Streets connecting districts are equipped with sensors measuring energy consumption and traffic flow. These sensors monitor road surfaces and engineering structures to predict potential damages, avoiding traffic jams and road closures due to extensive roadworks. The city's entire operational infrastructure is a unified system to which every city resident is connected via modern gadgets. This allows remote control of air conditioning, lighting, or microwaves. If you suddenly realize at work that you forgot to turn off the iron, there's no need to rush home in Songdo. Everything can be checked right from the office and the problem device can be turned off. 
In other words, every smart citizen shapes the living environment of their city. By 2025, every resident of Songdo will receive a smart card, a personal key to all city services, bus rides, cinema visits, free bike rentals, and so on. In just 10 to 15 years, the Songdo district has transformed from a muddy swamp into one of the most promising urban projects in the world, akin to something out of a futuristic movie. An environmentally clean and technologically advanced city, it was envisioned to become the economic center of Northeast Asia in the foreseeable future. The creators promised that by the completion of the project, the city would be the smartest in the world, a true paradise for its residents. So why today are the residential areas of Songdo filled less than a quarter of their capacity, and less than half of the planned buildings from the project have been constructed? The main reasons, as always, are a lack of funds and high costs. The project, valued at $35 billion, failed to attract a sufficient number of investors and the representation of major global companies. Currently, only 70,000 residents inhabit Songdo out of the planned 300,000. If the funds to complete the project are not found, the city is likely to become deserted very soon. To lead a full life in Songdo, you need to have an above average income. Because of this, the situation in the city has already been dubbed the digital divide. The creators of the city, private corporations, originally planned it this way. Only specialists with high incomes are intended to live in the city permanently, while service personnel come in for shift work. However, this idea failed. It turned out that most people want to work where they live, and people with income are in no hurry to move to an expensive city. The smart city raises another ethical question. International corporations and authorities have access to a vast amount of personal information about the residents. One can imagine how marketing departments of private companies will use such a massive amount of data. The project's creators today need to solve the main problem, populate the city with people. But how can they do it when almost all major cities developed naturally? In this case, people were expected to be attracted to an artificially created city from scratch. Nevertheless, global investors are optimistic. For example, the municipalities of Chinese cities Chongqing and Dalian have agreed with Gale International to create similar cities. They will be built in just a few years, drawing on the experience of Songdo. In conclusion, the Songdo project is an amazing example of how a dream city can become a reality thanks to advanced technologies and bold innovations. Despite some difficulties and financial obstacles, it continues to develop, aiming to become the epicenter of modernity in Northeast Asia. Songdo serves as a laboratory for future smart cities, warning of possible problems and implementing new ideas for sustainable development. We hope that in the near future, its unique concept will attract more investors and residents, making Songdo a shining example of the city of the future. And what do you think? Is it worth building smart cities from scratch? Or is it more profitable to make existing ones smart? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.